Hey again, this is James. So today I'm going to show you some things with uh, solid element operations, uh, commonly referred to as SEO, and uh, with the mesh as well. So for example, like to get a road or something through a terrain that uh, matches the same terrain uh, level. So all I've done so far is created this uh, quite simple mesh. Uh, if we have a look at the so all I did was uh, just a rectangle, added a couple of spot points, and just raised those uh, up and down a little bit to get some undulation to the terrain. Okay, so let's create some sort of path through here that goes through. So to do that, I'm going to use the spline tool to help. And with a few clicks, just to get a kind of nice kind of curved uh, spline. Now to, I want to offset this to be able to have like a unified uh, thickness through here. So we'll select this, click on the nodes, I'm going to offset. And during offset, I'm just going to tap the uh, on Windows, it's control on Mac, it's an uh, alt option. Uh, key to make a copy and so now I can copy this path and let's say this is going to be about three meters wide so I'm going to just type three meters and enter so now this has created a copy and I can see yep so it crosses the boundary which is good now I'm going to fill this in with a slab so I'm going to use a slab to uh, to do the solid element operations between so I'm going to get the slab tool. I'm going to switch the structure type to basic. And maybe I can keep it on concrete for, for now. And then with the magic wand tool, just press spacebar. Once I get the highlight, click. And now I have a slab here. So if I have a look at those two in 3D, so I'm just selecting both. And then go to 3D. So here I can see the uh, slab but I need to make it uh, higher and lower just so it completely covers uh, outside of the mesh. So I'm just going to grab the endpoint, modify the height. Okay, so now it's completely uh, above the terrain. And I might just move the lower point so it meets the skirting uh, depth at the bottom. Okay, so now we have those two objects. I'm going to start doing a not solid element operations. So I just need to get the palette, uh, palette up. So under design solid element operations. Okay, so now I need to modify the slab so it's only intersect. So I'm only want to see what intersects with the mesh. So to do that, I want to modify the, uh, the slab. So the slab is going to be the uh, target and the mesh is going to be the operator and I want to change this to intersection and then execute. So now the slab is purely just showing me the intersection uh, body with the mesh. But as you, as I navigate, you can see that there's actually a Z fight or Z fight between the two objects because they're colliding in the same space. So to fix this, I need to then do the operation in the other way as well, because I need to now cut out the mesh from the slab, from that slab body. So now I want to select the, uh, the mesh as the target and then select this slab, this cut slab, as the operator. And as the operation, I'm gonna do a subtraction. Uh, just to make sure that there's no artifacts on top, I'm gonna to do a subtraction with upward extrusion. And then I'm gonna execute. So now we've got two interactions between these objects. So first I did a intersection with the slab to get this uh, intersection body. And then once I've got that, I'm going to cut out the mesh, that intersection body. 
So now I've got the slab uh, intersecting and being flush with the terrain. So if I get the terrain and if I start moving some of these points, so for example, just this point I'm going to move up, then I can see that the intersection of this slab will follow. So if you want to make this uh, permanent, uh, so instead of being flush, you want to make this permanent. So for example, you may want to raise it up or lower. You can convert this to a morph, for example. Okay, so just one tip with this. If I move one of these points uh, quite the way down, then I don't see my slab anymore. So this can sometimes happen. And the reason why is that if I look underneath this, that point has actually gone below the skirting level. So this mesh is no longer solid. Uh, so therefore, because it's not solid, it doesn't interact with uh, a solid element. So this SEO won't work anymore because this is not a solid uh, element. Uh, to fix that, I just need to get the skirting of the mesh and change its height to be at least below that point. So now I see the base is solid again, and now I can see my, uh, my slab. So that's just a little tip about the, uh, the mesh. So I still have this original mesh, so if I need to modify the boundaries or make it uh, thinner, I can still edit this slab. Okay, so this is one method. Uh, this is kind of maybe a fairly common method to do the SEO. But while I'm on a uh, mesh, I just want to show you another technique for maybe a different type of result that you need. So here I've just got another mesh, which I'll show in 3D. Okay, so if we want to get a platform here, so maybe there's going to be a building or something, what we can actually use is, so in 23, we added the, uh, the opening tool. So what I can do is actually place an opening here. And if I select this, uh, so currently it's only 300 by 300, so let's make it much bigger, so maybe 5 meters. Okay, so currently it's just cutting as a whole. So that's one option, but I don't want it as a whole, I just want it as an inset, so as a platform. So if I make the limit, so instead of being uh, infinite, I'm just going to make it limited. And so now I can see that this is a platform. So it's almost like a niche in a wall or something. So here I can move it up or down. So basically changing the uh, thickness of this. And I can actually change the thickness from the top to actually make something like a cave. <laughs> so where the, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's actually below the, uh, the mesh. So the color that is taken from this is the same color as the, uh, the uh, mesh itself. So currently, if I open up the mesh tool, then it's got this generic environment building material. So if I change this to something else, so let's say gravel or soil maybe. Yeah, let's stick with gravel. And so this is then showing the building material that's inside this, uh, this mesh. So this can be another technique uh, to get, um, say, a platform on a, on a mesh. Okay, so hopefully that was useful and a little bit different from the last few weeks where I was talking about parameter transfer. Uh, anything else, just let me know. Thanks.